Right folks, how are we all? I am back on the YouTube after my little slap on the wrist for saying the wrong thing. I'm in good company, Dr. John Campbell. He had a ban. Right, now, the other week, uh, I, re I bought some new boots, right? Um, I do think that to have uh, good quality shoes on your feet uh, does actually help. When I uh, when I used to work in a, in the factory, uh, I always had top quality boots. Uh, no fucking cheap rubbish. I I always used to have uh, cats caterpillar boots. Um, I tried Doc Martens once and I didn't like them. I actually took them back and I had some new boots. Uh, couple of uh, well three months later i just couldn't get on with these uh dot martins and at work we used to be, we were given something like 50 quid towards a pair of new boots so you could pick a good quality boots but i always had um decent hard working boots um steel toe caps obviously for the environment i was working in and it made sense to spend a good amount of money on boots because when if you don't look after your feet right you actually end up in pain yeah so um, anyway, the other week um, I got some uh, trainers and they were fucked, fucked, absolutely fucked. Uh, and I was thinking, what am I going to do? Am I going to buy some new boots or trainers or such and such, or am I going to have some beers? Uh, I think it's a no fucking question. So I bought these. Now, these are Timberland. Um, I got them off Giacomo. Uh, just one second. I got them off Giacomo because these are a size 13 and a half. Yeah, you know what they say. Big feet, big shoes. And once again, I just think it's... Yeah. Normally, I've always had Reebok trainers because they're a wide fitting and they fit me quite well. But once again, I'm on like a 13, size 13, sometimes a 14 if I can find them in a Reebok and the, the, that's the style they go. <clears throat> Cheers. So, what I did, I went on Giacomo and um, we were looking for some boots. So I got these. Now, I wanted to review them from the start, but what I did, I recorded it, and I lost the bloody fucking thing. So anyway, uh, these are a Timberland Lanark, Lan, 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 Lanarch Mont Chucker. Um, a rugged men's boot in premium new back and suede leather featuring Orthillo, Orth, 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 Ortho, Ortho light, light. Not wood light. Oh, can't say that, can I? Might upset somebody. Technology for all day comfort and support. Grip stick, rubber pairs with our patterned L7 lug design for grip and protection underfoot. Um, standard fit. Um, and they are a quality boot. I have had, I've had these now a good six weeks. And they are absolutely tremendous. Now, you're probably saying, what is the price, Dave? And I will actually have to tell you that it's £150 for these, for these boots, yeah? Um, but this is what I say. You need to have a quality footwear. It's no good skimping and messing around. Because if you don't look after your feet, I mean, I've just bought it up here, right? Eight things that go wrong if you've got shitty shoes on. Uh, Collapse and arches, you don't want that, that hurts. Uh, high impact, the most formal uh, shoes are probably the worst for your feet. Stiletto heels, so if you wear stiletto heels, don't fucking bother. Um, instability, slow, strong lower motion body starts with your feet. When your shoes don't have enough support, neither do your ankles, so you get ankles. It, it basically works from the, the bottom upwards, so your feet start to work. I used to get... Um, policeman's foot and that's when the ball of your foot hurts really hurts you get up in the morning and it really really hurts um and that was when i realized that my my work boots were on the way out yeah so that was a very good sign that you should spend money 
on decent footwear uh, and get yourself sorted. But what happens is you, you, you don't, people don't. Um, we used to have a bloke at work, at work Dick, and um, he always used to buy the cheap, nastiest boots. He wouldn't spend any more on anything. He was tight as a fucking nun's chuff, right? And he, he, he was always walking around hobbling because his feet hurt. And you say to him, Dick, you're a fucking knob. Why don't you just buy some decent boots? You're on your feet. Well, he didn't because he used to work in bloody QC, so he was always on his fucking arse. Like most in QC were. Um, but when he used to walk up to the canteen, he used to be hobbling around like some kind of fucking wonky donkey. And um, yeah, so you've got to have good stuff because if you don't, it starts from the bottom of your feet, then he gets your ankles, then your knees, then your back. And if you've got a bad back, you're absolutely screwed. Yeah? So what you have got to do is you've got to stop messing around and buy some decent quality boots. Now these are absolutely brilliant. We've, do, we've been walking around uh, on the beach in these. Uh, we've been all around Southwold uh, and other places out on the East Coast. And these are absolutely brilliant. These, I've had no rubbing. You know, like sometimes you get a rubbing there. I've had no pain in the feet. It's got a good quality sole so that you don't slip or anything. It's, they're just really, really good. And if you are actually in the need, in the, in, the, um, in the department for buying some new boots, you know, if, you've got, if, you, if you're at the stage where you, your shoes are absolutely fucked and you're just throwing them away, um, I personally think you, you can't go wrong with these. Um, Giacomo, uh, are the, they, they do clothes for the bigger person, uh, and all that but these are absolutely brilliant nice nice little uh timberland sticker sign there i love timberland stuff um the, they don't do caterpillar stuff on here but timberland is absolutely brilliant i fucking love it and uh, oh it's made in cambodia well it's not china is it uh but the quality absolute quality these are and these will last me for absolutely ages you get the get the odd mark on it scrape it off gone that spit will dry down and um everything will be all fine and they do look good and, and these are the kind of boots that the longer you wear the age and they look better more scuffed and you walk around and the, the, there is they're, they're good enough to go out in at night they're good enough to go walking on the beach down around southwold uh, all over them kind of places and then go in the pub and they're also they're just comfy i drove all the way back back from lower stuff in these nothing else sat there naked in just my boots and they were perfect absolutely perfect so it, if you are looking for to spend some money on food on clothes and a pair of shoes um you know put yourself first uh, don't come up with some cock and bull stuff that you've got better things to spend your money on get yourself some shoes that are quality yeah Get yourself some quality boots or shoes or trainers or walking trainers or whatever because you won't regret it. See, I'm fortunate in the stuff that because I'm working, not doing YouTube, I don't have to rely on YouTube just to do this kind of stuff. I can actually go, you know, go and buy stuff that I require for a healthy life, you know, because you need your feet. You ain't got any feet, you're knackered. You're on stumps, you're like that. Wobbling around all over the place. So that's it, folks. Um, so these, if you are looking for some boots, folks, get some of these. The, I, I, I will be buying more of these. When these, if these wear out, um, I will be buying more because <coughs> just a quality thing. Uh, if you have got the bigger foot as well, do go on to Giacomo. It is a quality site. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and you won't regret buying anything off there. I've, I've not regretted buying anything off Giacomo. It's a fine place. Giacomo, if you want to if you want to do a sponsor deal, I'll do it. I'm a big fat lad, funny kind of shape and everything. So these they are, folks. Get yourself some of these. You won't be wrong. I've got some more beers to drink here because I can do.